we can get a fresh pot on for our tomato sauce. I got some onions, some carrots and some celery over here. I'm going to use my tomato pronto and in the pot a little bit of olive oil and then I'm going to saute off the vegetables. And we were talking about sauces having a liquid and a thickener and in the case of tomato sauce our liquid is our tomato concasse or tomato puree our thickener is going to be tomato paste but also the carrots in here have got some starch to a certain extent so the vegetables that we're sauteing off will also help with the thickening uh, apart from tomato paste and the vegetables also reducing the sauce very slowly will concentrate the flavors and give us a really flavorsome tomato sauce. So we're gently sweating off the carrots, onion and celery to release their sweetness. And we don't want to get too much brown in color on there. But what I also like to do is add garlic, but roasted garlic to my uh, tomato sauce, which just gives it a completely different uh, level of flavor. So after that roasted garlic, we're going to put our other thickener in, just a little bit of tomato paste. And again, just a little bit of salt building on the flavors. And what's really important is to cook the tomato paste properly to also release its flavors and sweetness. So that tomato paste is caught onto the bottom of the pan nicely with our vegetables and our garlic. And so I have a little bit of vegetable stock here just to deglaze the bottom of the pan. Get all of those good flavors released off the bottom. And then finally I'm going to add tomato pronto. And we're just going to allow the sauce to simmer for a while for all the flavors to come together. And then if you wanted to have a smooth sauce, which I'm going to do today, we're going to just blend it.